Hello and welcome to India Today. This is Hesha Chima and joining me for a conversation here is Call Me Bay's Lisa Mishra. Hello. Hello. How are we doing today? I am tired. <laughs> to begin. Premier was yesterday. Premier was yesterday. I feel like it was, you know, so many people, so much mehnat from everybody in the room. That energy of just being like, now it's done. Now it's done. That, that freedom of like, you know, it's out in the world, let people watch and mm. enjoy. But it's mentally so like, it's a lot of emotional work right. on a premiere day. So I think mostly I'm exhausted from that. Damn, yeah, I'm sure, yeah. And then I, I believe I overheard you saying that you watched yourself for the first time yesterday on screen in a full-fledged way. I did. I hadn't seen uh, this story, like, I'm sorry, the series mm. completely with edit until last night. None of us had. And um, I think it's the part that stuck out to me. I got very emotional. I said I wouldn't cry. I didn't technically cry. <laughs> Annie and I were sitting next to each other and she was picking on me. She's like, are you going to cry? Are you going to cry? And I was like, I don't think so. And immediately when she said that, the credits come on the screen and my name came up and I was like, oh, it's the only tear I shed. Guys, I'm, I'm cool. You're cool that I'm way. chill, I'm chill. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, but listen, even I would have. I feel like, okay, I'll tell you, for example, when I initially did something for the first time and then I see my byline or I see I name Aston. It's, it's that moment of like, Oof. I'm so proud of myself. It was worth it. That whole journey flashes in front yeah. of your eyes. Like, listen, I flex to my, I don't know, ancestors. I'm like, look, I've arrived. I've done this. Yeah, like, like, are you proud of me? You should be. Yeah, you should be. Because every time, like, my mom, I come from a Punjabi household where I'm constantly told about, like, you know, behave a certain way, yeah. this, that, You're whatever. Like, let me show you. Yeah, and I'm just like, listen, the surname's out there on TV. Now don't talk to me. I love that. <laughs> I was like, now don't talk to me about behavior. It's all going just fine. But well, congratulations. I happened to see so all the much. eight episodes just let how you did like, you like it listen it's, it's a vibe it's, it's a vibe. for the I'm girls a fashion too girl. i'm like i'm listen ananya's playing yeah. a journalist okay? yeah like, i know like social media journalist which i think most of us it's are right so now. cute <laughs> it's so cute it's amazing and you're playing a producer which i have been yeah so you know i'm gonna actually pick this chat from there because totally I'm yeah producer. oh i'm so glad yes. we can talk about the we character we can talk about the character okay where I have um, probably oscillated between what I have to showcase and what I don't want to showcase. Yeah. You know, when you're a producer, and yeah. for the ones who will see it, they'll understand what I'm totally. talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I want to ask you a little bit about, um, and I'm not going to give too many disclaimers other for ones who have not watched, but tapping into a character like that, which is subtly strong. Yes. Like, does that make sense? Like, yeah. I felt like you were a strong character, but you were very subtle about being the strong woman. Yeah. You know, like, how did you sort of tap into that energy? I think when I... You know, from the first audition, um, incidentally, my, my, you know, entry in the series is my audition. Mm. And um, it was the same scene that I had done. And the brief was that she has, she's empowered, she's strong, but she has a deep sense of empathy. Mm. And you have to be able to convince people that outwardly you're strong, but inwardly you're human. Mm. And on a very human level, you understand them and they should understand you. Yeah that she is breakable sometimes. Mm -hmm. And although she's empowered, although she has all these great strong qualities, she has tough days. Right. And I hope I've done an honest job of conveying that. But I mean, all I had to do was just be myself. Right. I got to really play a character that's close to who I am as a person, mm -hmm. who has to like, you know, run things and then at home probably go and cry for three hours. <laughs> right. You know, when you spoke about the strong part of it, there's a scene which I remember, which was at, which is at Veer's house when you exit. Like that yes. particular scene really left a mark on me because I was just like, ouch, I feel her pain without she even saying anything. Because I can't say and I can't react and I can't, especially, you know, in that, I don't want to give too much away, but in that scene, I have to leave that house and not let anybody know I'm on the verge of tears. Yeah. So, and it's so funny, our incredible director, Colin, we shot that so many times because I insisted on having natural tears. Oh. I was like, let me get in there and cry because I was like, I can make myself cry, just give mm -hmm. me a second. And he was like, why don't you just use Gliss? I was like, I don't know, I just like want it to be as honest as possible that she's so like in this terrible headspace right. and um, it was great he called it the big dharma moment he's like you know there's a dharma moment in every show where the girl walks away having this emotional thing and the guy is behind her and you have to like you're like I can't let him sh like know that I'm hurt yeah so I was like I have to do this justice and uh, now that he put pressure on me he said it's your dharma moment I was like 
up to All right. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. I will make sure that your falls and exactly one on drop cue. that it has. To, uh, like, my God, and it was perfect training. Ever since then, I was like, I know how to do this now. <laughs> yeah, and listen, talking about Dharma, you got the Royals also coming in next. I know. Like, oh my God, the Bhumi, which is amazing. It's going to be fun. Like, what's the vibe like? Are you guys already shooting it? Is it done shooting? Where you We've shot. It? It's mm. amazing. I'm so looking forward to Royals as well. And I mean, that we obviously can't reveal anything because sure, yeah, nothing has been said about the project. But all I can say is, you know, that cast lineup and uh, announcement, I think I even I was like, I mean, I know who's on the show. I worked with all of them. Yeah. But when you see all of those back to back, you're like, oh, wow. Yeah. OK, like I understood the magnitude of the project in that moment. Right. But it's going to be it's going to be a crazy next one year cycle. Mm. Um, and I just am so grateful that I got to do both of these back to back. Yeah, that's amazing. Was, is it fair to say that you were kind of spotted by Sonam Kapoor? Yes, of course. Though, right? Yeah, yeah, of mm -hmm. course. I think it uh, goes without saying. Of course, it took 11 years of singing in my bedroom. For sure. <laughs> and, and it, but it, it's always a person who gives you that first shot, right? right? Like, I always, whenever I get this question, I'm like, you have to say that first thanks forever. Yeah. Because I wouldn't be here without it. Mm. And that's a fact. I might be, a, you know, in another universe as, as a renowned musician, maybe I'd be the number one pop star in India or something. But that timeline is different. That story is different. In this reality, they discovered me and hats off for spotting something that I had been waiting for people to see in me. Yeah. So yeah, you know, 11 years of doing these videos and putting them on the internet and the girls, Ria and Sonam, um, definitely picked up something they're yeah. like there's something here that even maybe i didn't know i had mm. that level of potential yeah so it's it's amazing i'm i'm so grateful and i i would be remiss if i didn't always thank them for that first shot because i, I mean even in acting yeah to be fair i have to acknowledge the privilege of being in certain spaces sure. because of that first shot i got right and the visibility it gave me and now i get to do these other amazing things with my career as yeah. well you know i'll tell you why i even brought this up because it's very interesting that there's always these conversations that keep happening about you know the insider outsider debate yeah. but i feel like today if the outsider is also spotted by the insider because purely of talent yes. things work out yes of course yeah. i feel like you know you can't control the way that you're found sure right you know even Shah Rukh had his first director there's some someone sees something in you that's that's what you have to just do right by yeah. I have to do this job justice because it's a job mm -hmm. I have to you know respect the fact that somebody has seen this in me and really give it my best right so yeah it goes without saying I think I get to be on both sides now because mm. now I'm a longtime music industry insider. Yeah. But I'm on the outside looking into the acting world, just getting my feet in that room. Yeah. And I, it's amazing. I get to feel like my 2018 version of myself, discovering everything for the first time. Mm. It's a completely different career space, but it's so fun every yeah. day. It is. It is. I feel. But you know, tell me something. Do you also feel, Lisa, that uh, given the fact that you've you've debuted here with Call Me mm -hmm. Bay, which is also such a massive star cast out there, right? There's Kurfate, there's Ananya, like oh God. too many people. Veer Das. Veer Das. Oh my God, he's amazing in the show as well. But uh, in a situation like this, you know, where probably you might not have the maximum screen space, mm. but a very impactful role, yeah. you know, do you feel like things are changing right now? Because I'll tell you why I'm saying this. I've seen a whole bunch of series of late where I've also gone ahead and chatted with people who probably were not the main leads, but those characters were so strong yeah. that they all left an impact. Did yeah. you choose this primarily because of this? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I auditioned for this. I had an option of auditioning for two things. Um, and I, like I told you, I'd been working and auditioning with Punch Me for six years. Okay. And I was just like, it's one day, <laughs> my time will come. And I remember getting the sides for the, the scenes for two characters mm. and either of them would have been fantastic. And they had actually done a great job of having me in mind correctly for both because mm. they're very similar characters. But one is just the more realized final form of the other one. Yeah. And without giving anything away, I'm sure you know who the other I one is. I know who the other one is. Exactly. <laughs> I was just like, so wait, I, I know who the Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like the mini me. Mini me. And um, I went for this because I was like, it might be, because they tell you, they're yeah. like, you know, you see the number of days required. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, there's something about this character, Harleen, who is, who grounds a lot of the show. Mm -hmm. And especially the decision that she takes in the end and what she does is the heart of 
you know, that arc being yeah, completed. For sure. Yeah. And you just don't know until that moment, what is she going to do? Mm. You have a hope that mm. she does the, the right, right thing, thing, but you don't know. And I think that was so appealing to me mm. that I was like, I, I get to be a very complete multidimensional person who has hard things going on in life who's a career woman who's had to fight for that position, yeah. who's in a relationship that's tough. Mm. So it, and have to balance that with work. So I, I was like, I don't know, I just like something about how many things she gets to be. Mm. She's a very complete person. Yeah. So yeah, and I saw a lot of myself in it. So I was like, I have to do this. I have to audition for this. And even Panchmi was surprised that I didn't submit the other audition. I was mm. like, no, I just, I think I want to go with this one. That's a good level of confidence yeah. to have. Like, and clarity also. Yeah, and, and you know, like I said, it's my first uh, ever. So I had no idea if I was or wasn't going to land it. I mm. thought I had a horrible audition. <laughs> <laughs> like most of us feel that because oh, we're God. over critical about yes, our work. Yes, I watched it on the way here today. I have not seen that video in two years. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to watch it. Because I finally saw the show last night and I saw that scene come to life. And I was like, you know, I'm glad that it panned out on screen because yeah. I can't defend my audition. <laughs> but I'm glad, like Ria, that Colin saw something to work with. Yeah, no, and you've I done a great job. It. Honestly, yeah. loved you in the series Thank you so as much. well, and I mean that. Um, I also want to bring this up and tell you that, and this is my personal space, okay? Sure. I feel like I might have 100 insecurities in my life, but every time I'm between action and gut, I forget about them. Yeah, I'm absolutely. just like, camera can capture whatever now, but yes. this is who I am. Like, yeah. Do you feel that self-confidence and you know that sense of like being an actor gives you also some sort of validation which is more internal? It's 100% that, and mm. I think that applies to just being an artist. Right. Like, I, I have that same attitude going on stage. I might have had the worst day, I might have had an argument with my band and I'm just like, this is not the vibe, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> but when you're on, you're on, yeah. all of it disappears. Mm. And you know, obviously a lot of that in music is that you have an audience for feedback. Yeah. In acting, you're just there, yeah. left alone. Yeah. So you have to find another level of self-confidence to pull it off because you can't let anything else going on around you affect that moment. Yeah. And I remember walking into, you know, set every day feeling like the underdog because I am the least experienced of mm -hmm. everybody on the set. Every single person has done multiple projects. And even our like junior actors are like, oh, this is my fifth. I was like, wow, <laughs> your fifth? And I was like, I lessons you, thank you. So I was like a little bit nervous every day, had that, you know, uh, you know outsider sort of sense. Mm. And, um, I'm, I'm glad that I, I was able to pull that confidence from somewhere, God knows, I have no idea. Mm. I think it was just that you have to be able to say, everyone is here waiting for you, just go. You have to do it. Yeah. You know, no, time's not gonna stop for anyone. The camera's rolling, you gotta make it count. Right, that's true. Yeah. But then do you feel at some given point in time that right now this is, I've landed my first and I've landed my second, but there has to be more of for course. me to keep doing? Like, does that pressure bother? Of course. I, I had a chat with Bunch last night about this and she was just, she gave me the best advice. Bunch me said, our casting director um, for this and, and Royals actually, um, she told me the same thing the night the trailer launched for Bay that she did last night. She said, just keep your feet to the ground. Mm. And it, you know, you have a tendency as an industry, all artists have a tendency to say, now what? Because there's so many months off yeah. between projects. And like after the promotional run is done, after everything is, you just go home and you're like, I just want more, I just want to keep going. But mm. she's like, just be grounded. Just be grateful these mega spaces have opened themselves up yeah. to you. And you just watch it unfold after that. Mm. Right now is not the time. But she was like, just keep your head on straight, keep your feet to the ground. After this, after Royals, you'll see if you've done justice to your work, it will come. Right. Yeah. What kind of conversations are you like usually having in terms of acting and casting is concerned? Because I feel like I'm sure you're not putting music at the back burner. No. But you're trying to sort of balance both and also yeah. push forward acting because music has been pushed forward in a totally. certain way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even on this uh, series, I have two songs on the soundtrack that I've composed and sung. Uh, with my best friend Ruel, we've co-sung, co-written these songs. Um, see, th that's like second nature at this point. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very like, you know, you want to call me, please do, to compose <laughs> for your films and series. 
I, I can do it in five minutes. Yeah. Like I will be in the studio in five minutes and I will spend the next day, week, month perfecting that product because I know, like it's learned, mm -hmm. it's a habit. But you know, it's, it's different now with, with acting, I just have to be like, I am, I'm venturing into something completely unknown right. and I don't get to act like a big shot right now. Mm. I have to earn that as well. It's a huge, huge transition between the two. Uh, great understanding that you're aware. Like, not many people yeah. are aware. The Delulu. Listen, I meet yes. a whole bunch of delusional people who really don't know what they're doing. I'm up to. plenty Delulu. <laughs> on that, different topics. On different topics. That, that we were doing yeah. it off camera. I was like, we can talk about those. Yeah, <laughs> my relationships are Delulu. Delulu. They're just me in my own head. With the best man in our totally. own head. <laughs> totally. That's the Delulu in me. <laughs> That's me too. But professionally, I feel... We Never Delulu know. professionally. No, we know what we're up to. No, but I have to give that to you because I feel that sense of understanding and the whole grounding part that yeah. you know you were having a chat with sort of just takes a full circle in situations yeah. like that. But tell me, what kind of an actor you think you are on a set? Like, are you the inquisitive mm. one? Are you like, I want to observe everybody, what they're doing? Or you're like, listen, cut me off. I'm going to be in my own zone. I have a lifetime problem. My parents <laughs> can tell you this. I ain't observing. I'm yapping. <laughs> I'm always like, yeah, this is nice. And I'm having some side conversations. Like, this is good, too. This is nice. Watch this. Oh, there's a bird. And I was, <laughs> I'm like, I need to learn how to slow down <laughs> and watch and learn while on set, mm. I tend to watch and learn after the shot. Mm. And Colin's like, you were there. I was like, yeah, but I got distracted. There was a cat. Oh. So, <laughs> he's just like, sure, attention. He's like, that's not going to work. <laughs> um, I have had to learn to slow down, and my severe ADHD has got to be reined in. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have that problem. It takes a lot for somebody to hold my attention. And if they do, oh, then I'm a, I'm a leech. I'm in, I'm in. Yeah, I'm a leech. I'm, just I'm, like, I'm trying very hard to be like, Lisa, if the camera <laughs> are rolling and you're observing an actor watch what they're doing <laughs> not what they're wearing not where the dust is coming I in know. from <laughs> I'm always like I, if I'm at the shogun I'm like but this hair and Colin's like what <laughs> watch what's happening <laughs> Fun, interesting. So you're yeah. a fun person on set. I would want to be that be and observe you from the wall. Yeah, guys, I like, yeah. What is Lisa doing? <laughs> oh, you would observe me. Yeah, nice. that would be fun. Like, that's a skill I need it. to learn from you. <laughs> <laughs> How to observe what you're doing. Yeah. But, um, you know, tell me in a nutshell, do you have like your trajectory sort of mapped out now or are you like just like going yeah. with the flow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think um, uh, I can ask you this because you've seen the series. Did I do a convincing job of my accent? Yeah. Okay, touch wood. Yeah. Because that's a big thing for me. I want to see how much I can keep expanding yeah. being Indian. Mm. And of course I am, ethnically. No, but very convincing. Because yeah. when I'm hearing you right now... Is it weird to be like that in this person? Yeah, I'm just like, hmm. No, but good job. Good job. Thank you so yeah. much. I think the, the I want to see myself like completely, you know, own being a Desi character mm. from here, born and raised here. Um, that's the primary challenge in my beginning few projects. And as I expand, I think that the fun thing would be to be a crossover of this yeah. in, in productions internationally back home. Yeah. Because I would love to do justice to an NRI character. Yeah. Because sure. that's who I am. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I feel like I want to do this first and really get skillful at it and then be able to translate it there. So my personal arc is being able to work between my two worlds, be closer to family, have my time here. Yeah. Um, that's, that's honestly all I want. Yeah, I think that, that's best good enough. Worlds. Yeah, best of yeah. both worlds. And why not? I feel like everybody's sort of tapping into wanting totally. to do everything. And yeah. that's not a bad thing at all. I mean, I feel greedy and selfish are not bad words. <laughs> I feel it's good to be greedy and selfish. Hey, both. you gotta be greedy for yourself. For yourself. Be like, I want everything. That's how I'm like greedily selfish. Like, I don't know, whatever yeah. that is. But it, yeah. That's the only way you want it bad enough. Yeah, yeah. Not, nothing better than that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Lisa, lastly, before I let you go, tell me a little bit about yourself in terms of, you know, professionally, mm -hmm. as, an, as an artist. I'm not even going to categorize you as a music composer or, or an actor for the matter of fact. As an artist, as an individual, what really stimulates you and drives you to thrive in life? I treat art like a game of tennis, ironically. So I grew up playing tennis. It's like the only thing we talk about all the time in the house. <laughs> and any tennis player can tell you this, any observer of tennis can tell you this, you only get better when you're opposite someone better than you. Mm. So I've been very lucky to be in spaces in music where I've been in the room with composers like Amit Trivedi yeah. and Pritam and you know, Shankar Asanloy, and then you feel like that's where I zone in and I learn. 
And I'm like, okay, I'm observing, I'm picking up things, and every direction that they give me and small change they suggest, it locks in forever. Right, right. And that same thing is what I'm applying to acting. It's just like, observe constantly, I'm working on it. <laughs> but it's, it just keep picking things up along the way. I think that's the, it's just learning, just keep learning and, you know, every little additional trick, secret, whatever hack that you have, it's just something you get to put in your pocket and make the best of in the next gig. Mm. Yeah. Right. Love it. Well, thank you so much, thank Lisa. So much. Uh, Call Me Bay is all up there for everybody to watch from tomorrow. Yay. So, yay. I think you're going to have like Go a and enjoy our show. Yeah, that's what you like. very hard. And you'll actually sink in whatever's been happening yes. once you get those messages and responses yeah. from people. Now, Instagram leaves no stone unturned to make sure you know, I know. whether you're liked or disliked. And if you like what I've done, <laughs> it's a testament to two people especially. My casting director, mm -hmm. who spotted me out, and our wonderful, wonderful director, Colin, who I think has made such a great product. Yeah. So if you like me in the show, thank them. <laughs> Yay, and text them. Yes. <laughs> and I will every day for the rest yeah. of my life. Hi, <laughs> call me with season two, I'm there. Season five, I don't who know. Knows? Hi, Amazon, are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> then transition to Netflix, who never That's knows? That's right, it's fine, it's Could whatever. happen. But thank you so much, Lisa, for your time. Thank it was you. so much fun. It was great to chat with you. Likewise, Thanks. thank you.